<laughs> Happy Boxing Day, everybody. Hey, it is the 26th it of December. That would make it Boxing Day, which boxing is a day. big deal up in Canada, right? Yep. Okay. Right. Canada, Canada and Britain. Okay. It's when everyone goes out and punches their friend in the pants. <laughs> I don't think so, but <laughs> we'll get the whole story in no, just a second. No, no, it was the day after Christmas, your employer would give you give you a box of, of goods and presents to all their employees. Like they like if you were an employee, you got a box wow. on this day full of stuff from your employer. My employer on the twenty sixth used to give me a box and say, Put your stuff in this. <laughs> That's just that was boxing day for me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, American employers are are not nice. Late stage capitalism, everybody. <laughs> All right. Anywho. We've got. Uh, this is ba- the Balvenie from Banffshire, Scotland. Um, this is actually the first Balvenie, I think we. No, we had no, the Caribbean had, cask. Yep. We did have the Caribbean cask. I'm a crazy person. Yeah. But this is their single bottle, single bottle, single mm-hmm. barrel malt scotch whiskey. I like that they say single barrel malt scotch whiskey from a single barrel. <laughs> That's a little redundant, <laughs> but hey. All right, maybe yeah. they were drinking this stuff when they wrote that down. Right, you know? exactly. But the nice thing about this is, so if you look at the, the bottle. It's it, empty. It's empty. <laughs> well, and I'll tell you why in a second. But they do give you the bottling date, the in-cask date, the cask number, the bottle number, you know, all that stuff. Everything so. you'd ever want. And yeah. then some. Yeah. So they're pretty cool. They still grow their own, oh, they don't grow their own barley, do they? Oh, they do grow their own barley, and they still malt it themselves. Like, sure. They got some guys raking it. A to Z shop. Keeping it, oh. keeping it from getting all musty and messed up. Anywho, so, uh, unfortunately, this was a gift from my employer. Ah, Isn't that perfect? Yeah, yeah. yeah Boxing, this is a gift yeah, yeah. For, from my employer over mm-hmm. at Ray's Liquor. They were, they let everybody take uh, a bottle or two home from the, uh, the sample bottle stash. Yeah, right. Unfortunately, this one had been sitting a while, and, and we lost the cork. Yeah. It, as soon as I nudged it, it fell it off. It fell. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna have. We're gonna be. I tried to get as much of it out as we I could, but uh, we're gonna be drinking some cork sediment tonight. <laughs> He's gonna be drinking some cork sediment. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Good luck avoiding it. It's all up in there. Ah, uh, you're right. Only. Yeah. Yeesh. Yeah. And that's why. Folks, one, you store your bottles right side up so they can't like oh dry rot. the cork. Oh, well, yeah. well, see, if you store it that side, yeah, the high alcohol yeah, will eat through the cork. cork. Well, it won't dry no, it; it'll, it'll eat it. It'll okay. literally eat it, like 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 a little monster. No, nah, not like that. But if you <laughs> but if you don't tip it to the side every once in a while and let the liquid get in there, then it will dry it out. And at that point, you get a cracked cork like this. Okay, well, that's good to know. Yeah. Yeah, so my boss did not take good care of his Balvenie. Shame on him. But whatever. I'm still going to drink it. I don't care. We're going to try it. But it's, what's better What's better suitable for Boxing Day than a... Gift from my employer. Exactly. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, here we go. Balvenie. The Same Balvenie. Ball. 15. The The usual one is uh, uh, 12. And then they've also got the Caribbean oh. cask at 14 years old. That's not a single malt. They also have a... Sure well, it is. is a single malt. It is a okay. malt scotch whiskey. Nice. From a single distillery, so... Okay. Yeah. Just single everywhere in that. Uh-huh. Label. Single barrel, single malt, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. I don't actually know if they tell you what kind of bottling it is. Let's see. Mm. Mm. Ba, ba, ba. Yeah, it doesn't say what kind. It doesn't say if it's like sherry, if it's refill, if it's bourbon, virgin oak. I don't think it's mean it's not virgin oak. I can tell you that right now. But yeah, I think we lost quite a bit to the angels' share here. <laughs> Do you mean to the angels' share? Like once it got in the in the, yeah, the so, bottle? Yeah, once the cork went and it and just started. Doo, doo, yeah. Doo, 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 doo. Yeah. Because uh, this is not a bul- bulbeny I remember. <laughs> I mean, it's still pretty. It's still very honey sweet. Yeah, it's very it's honey just, sweet. Just not that robust. Yeah, I guess. See, that's the thing. Like, I gotta wonder if the alcohol just kind of evaporated. Yeah, off. yeah that we're could, not getting that lift exactly. With the ethanol coming up. That could so because this was bottled at fifty point four percent. Oh yeah, that should be that hefty. Should, that should be hefty. I'm not getting that blast. It's not all that hefty. Yeah, so it's unfortunate, but. Man. Yeah, we probably lost quite a bit. Cause don't, don't look a gift, gift horse in the mouth. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you got to look in the other end. Yeah. 
<laughs> you don't know what's going to come out of there. Um, that's the thing, though. Like, whiskey doesn't oxidize the same way like wine does, right. where it oxidizes super quick. Like, it's already gone through a lot of oxidation in the barrel, but you do lose alcohol to the air, and it does. The air does change things. And this was this was sitting at like that much, wow. plus the cork was all messed up. And, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, whatever. It's free booze. <laughs> Yeah, you might be right about that. A little flat. It's a little flat. No, it's it's not quite as as. I don't think the, the that honey no, no honey no. and wood note is quite as big as it usually as it usually is on most Belvenies. No, it's a little bit more. It's got a little bit more like bitter spiciness, kind of right. And I don't know if but that's, now the cork man is that, that tasty. Cork, <laughs> the cork's amazing. The cork's best part of this. <laughs> We ought to break the cork off in all our bottles. Yeah, no. <laughs> Still got a little bite, but... Yeah, yeah. It's not bad. It's no, good. No. It's good. It's drinkable. It's drinkable. Well, yeah, without the cork, it would be even more drinkable. It's it's easy. It's it's still pretty sweet. It's still mm-hmm. a touch tropical fruity. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But it's just not... It's it's... It's a little spicy. It's a little flat. Kind of spice, but it just doesn't. It doesn't. Does, it's not. It's not a cohesive blend right. that we're used to. You know. It's well, just, not even a not even a blend. It's, well, I mean, a, a flavors. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, but th- who can say if that was this barrel's problem or Ooh, the fact nah. that it sat in a half open bottle? For God knows bad. how long. You know, I'm I'm gonna bet the latter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we should entitle this video like. Proper cork maintenance there we is, go. is yeah. important. Yeah. Proper proper cork maintenance is your friend. That almost sounds dirty. <laughs> <laughs> make sure make sure how to, how to treat your cork appropriately. <laughs> you don't want your wood to dry out, so apply liquid to it regularly. Yeah, all you cork soakers out there, you gotta put that in your in a liquid set. <laughs> Otherwise, so. otherwise it shrivels and shrinks. <laughs> right. You don't want that. So, okay. So yeah, yeah. it'll be my job, to cork soaker. This wasn't really a Belveni review. Not exactly. I don't, I don't no, think this I don't was know a, what this was. I don't think this was exactly a, a but good. But you know, Boxing Day, you know what to do with a cork. There you go. Yeah. Hopefully, you learn something. There you go. And until next time, hey, stay rotten. Yeah, you do. Mm-hmm.